Was Chicago police officer Robert Rialmo justified in shooting a teenager armed with a baseball bat? The wrongful death case filed by the family of Quintonio Legreer got underway at the Daily Center today, minus one key figure, Officer Rialmo. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas explains what happened. It was an unusual start for a wrongful death suit. The man at the center of the case, Chicago police officer Robert Rialmo, was not in the courtroom. His attorney, Joel Brodsky. I don't see why he has to be here. Uh, I mean, you know, so the jury can look at him and gauge his reactions and look at how he's, you know, or misgauge his reactions. It was December 2015 when Officer Rialmo shot and killed 19-year-old Quintonio Legreer after responding to a call of a domestic disturbance. Rialmo claiming that when he arrived, Legreer charged him with a baseball bat. Brodsky held up the bat in his opening statement Monday, saying distances seem a lot closer when someone is swinging a bat at you. I wanted to make the point to the jury that the distances that they're talking about are extremely close. When a forensics expert was questioned about the trajectory of the nine bullets that were fired by Rialmo, Janet Cooksey, Legreer's mother, fled the courtroom in tears. It's emotionally uh, uh, very difficult for her to listen to the details of her son's demise. But again, she's determined that she's going to stick it through this trial because this is important. This is her son's life and this is her opportunity to try and get justice. As for the family of Betty Jones, accidentally shot by Rialmo as she stood behind Legreer, her estate has reached a tentative $16 million settlement with the city. Rialmo is expected to be in court tomorrow when he will testify. While police superintendent Eddie Jones has said he believes the shooting was justified, the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA, ruled that it was not. The Chicago Police Board will decide whether or not Rialmo should be fired. Rob, Erica. Okay. All right, Roseanne, thanks.